The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Captain Bob Smith, Director of Testing. Well, welcome to Doral's Dieter Meeting for 2008. I'm Captain Rob Smith from Boat Test, and we're taking a look at the 235, the 235 Cuddy Cabin, that is. Brand new model form, so jump on board and let's take a good look. The 235 Cuddy adds another option to the growing family with small children aboard or someone who just wants a space to get out of the sun part of the day rather than having to run back to the docks. Using Doral's typical European flair for design, the 235 Cuddy delivers the handling of a bow rider with a getaway Cuddy. I really appreciate the stainless steel step pads on the corners of the swim platform as this is the first place most people slip trying to get aboard from the docks. The swim platform has plenty of room to strap on the boards or relax and enjoy the tunes via an optional remote on the stern. Adding teak to the floors adds an extra touch of class to this model. The sun pad is large enough to serve as a bench seat to put on your skis or for one person to stretch out for sun. It also serves as part of the engine box cover. The aft bench tips forward for greater access when you need to perform routine maintenance. The heavy padding underneath does a great job of dampening noise and heat. The U-shaped bench seats and ergonomically designed bucket seats provide a sufficient cushioning from the waves in the wakes I could find. The optional roll bars add a sports car effect. Several drink holders are scattered about to keep your drinks handy. At night you can turn on some soft deck lighting so everyone can see to get around. For snacks a table sets up easily in the back. Next to the companion seat is an open pocket storage with speaker, drink holders and stereo. The stereo is next to the seat to accommodate the window into the cabin. This placement is a bit awkward and covers up one of the cup holders. Moving over to the helm station, I found the instruments easy to see even in bright daylight. The brushed aluminum look panels add spice to the dash and the upper analog gauge set is supplemented with the digital depth gauge to the right. The top of the dash is covered in matching upholstery with a Danforth compass in the center. Although I didn't find a need for them, Bennett trim tabs are just to the right lower panel and above the driver's drink holder. There's a flip out step on the side of the driver's helm to step up through the windshield. I'm six feet and it was a stretch for me. On the bow, the rails are low enough for a secure handhold when reaching into the anchor locker. Cleats are handy pop-up style and optional docking lights have been added to our test boat for lighting the way into a dark slip or loading ramp at night. Well, here's another interesting way Doral is using light in space. Instead of having a filled in area here with fiberglass, they put in a window so that you really let in a lot of natural light into your cabin. Take a look at this cabin door. This is a two-piece cabin door. You have a see-through door and you've got a screen so that on those hot days you can get some natural air in there without letting in all the mosquitoes. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accommodations inside. Because it's a bit of a step into the cabin, Durrell cleverly added a pull-out step to make it easier. The cabin has plenty of room for the kids to relax or for the family to escape a sudden summer shower. I like the wood accent running across the center of the cabin liner as well as a spacious soul locker with dedicated storage for the stern light. Over the port as you enter is a large space you can load up with swim gear and shore bags with a drainable locker below to keep the wet stuff away from the dry clothes. Directly opposite on the starboard side is a compact full head compartment. I was impressed with the wood panel entry door. The circuit panel is tucked inside on the aft wall and you have a manual pump out head. The new 235 Cuddy measures 23 feet 7 inches length overall on a beam width of 8 feet 6 inches. She weighs about 4,600 pounds and carries a maximum load of 70 gallons of gas. She has a sharp bow entry and 20 degree dead rise at the stern. The 235 Cuddy proved to be easy to handle. In fact, I tested her alone as time was quickly running out on me. She remained rock steady and smoothly came out of the hole in 3 seconds and pushed past 30 miles an hour in 8 seconds. I found her cruise speed to be around 26 miles per hour for a range of 177 miles. I reached a top speed of 43.6 miles per hour at 5,000 RPM with a single 320 horsepower Mercruiser 6.2 MPI. I believe as you can see that Doral's done a great job of taking her 235 bow rider and turning it into a great little cuddy cabin for a place to get out of the sun. I believe you'll be impressed too, so take a look at the 235 cuddy cabin from Doral.